Hey everyone, I'm Boone, and today I want to show you a few tips and tricks you can use to help build tension in a scene. Okay, so... Okay, so, all right, this is the first tip right here. It's called, it's all about the background. And this is a technique where you show something in the background that the audience can see and that the character is unaware of. Now, the audience may become aware of the fact that the character is in danger, and this can make them feel very uneasy and very tense because they just have to watch what's gonna happen. You know, one way to make the background shot extra creepy is to really hide what's doing the creeping. You can do this by utilizing a shallow depth of field. This is where you use depth of field to really blur out what's in the foreground and in the background, and you can hide things in there. Now what is behind this door? Sound is obviously an important piece of the filmmaking puzzle, and music is especially powerful when you're trying to build tension. You can use a music track to give the vibe that something is just off, or alert the audience to some kind of impending danger. Watch how a few different tracks can change the mood here. So in addition to music, you can also utilize sound effects to add tension. So let's say I just saw this bear at the bottom of the stairs, I'm back here in my office paying attention to my work, and now I hear something moving up the stairwell. To communicate my unease, we could now add my heartbeat paired with a dramatic turn, which leads me to my next technique, which I like to call the slow turn. Sometimes when a character hears something behind them, they like to turn around to look to see what it is, and they turn very, very slowly like this, which wouldn't actually never happen in real life, but helps give your audience time to build more tension. This is a really great one I like to call Don't Show the Monster. So I know that something's behind this door, but I don't know what it is. If you keep that from the audience as well, then you're gonna leave it up to their imagination, and you can keep building this tension by not showing them what's behind the door. Adding just the slightest bit of camera movement, I can draw the audience's attention to the crack in the door. This will hopefully get them on the edge of their seat, trying to see if they can make out what is in the crack of the door. One of the things that makes the don't show the monster technique work so well is a good reaction shot. Oftentimes you can just sit on the reaction shot and once again let the audience imagine what the monster looks like. But here it's just a teddy bear. 
Okay, so I've got a creepy live teddy bear in my house, so I'm gonna have to go now. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. And um, okay, he's walking up the stairs. Bye.